Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into my video, I wanted to thank the following new monthly contributors. Allison Mitchell, Chris Derwell, Leanne Elias, and Wendy Fife. Monthly contributions from people like you make this video possible. Now on to the rest of my video. The media aren't objective. They insist they are, but they aren't actually. Objectivity itself is a myth, both inside and outside of journalism. Each of us throughout our lives has internalized countless subjective messages, whether it's messages about race or gender or ability or science or religion or any other subject. We all have within us a collection of these subjective messages, and this collection creates our paradigm our worldview. And that worldview determines how we view, perceive, and interpret events around us. Likewise, they determine how we retell events. And this phenomenon exists within journalism. When I was in elementary school, my social studies teacher taught me the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. This is the classic foundation of journalism. We can use them to test the so-called objectivity of the media. Take most any crime report in Lethbridge, for example. The who is usually there as the name of the suspect. The what is usually there as the action the accused supposedly committed. The when is usually there with a date and time of the action. The where is usually there as the location of the action. But the why? The why is often missing. Why did the accused person commit that action? What circumstances led to them being in that situation? What choices did they make in their lives that led them to those circumstances? What environmental components influenced those choices. Let's talk about specific cases. Why did the cops, for example, parade Denzel Byrd in front of the media? Byrd was accused of aggravated sexual assault against a woman in 2016. Why didn't the cops parade Gary Lippa in front of the media? Lippa was accused of creating and distributing child porn, as well as raping a 13-year-old girl. The fact that these questions often lie unanswered and even unexplored tells us that some information isn't investigated. And if some information isn't investigated, it's missing. And if information is missing, then the information presented to us was selected subjectively. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimsiever.ca. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Medium. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.